welcome back viewers welcome back to highlights entertainment now today's spotlight is going to be placed on a roadway a section of a roadway out there in saint mary that leads from a place called windsor castle we're looking at it all the way down to post road yeah man so this roadway viewers it goes through a district that is called louisiana and i promise you that this is going to be an interesting one not only interesting but it is going to also be a bumpy one so if i can give you some history or background of this stretch of roadway now this roadway falls between two parishes or two political constituencies if you want to look at it like that all right so this roadway falls between saint mary and saint catherine western saint mary to be exact and northeast saint catherine yes man so we are going to be looking at this stretch of roadway and as it is dubbed an abandoned community and we'll be looking at a few examples as to why we term this place as an abandoned community now let the journey begin if you look carefully ahead you'll see we are approaching well a part of that roadway yes man that is a road it is actually a road that can take you all the way through to linstead spanish town so it is a roadway it is a real road in a real community where real people lives yes look at the condition it is beyond terrible when i say terribly i mean terrible this stretch of roadway that should take you about five minutes to traverse by motor vehicle from windsor castle to post road will take you approximately half an hour just to journey that same stretch of road all right so the road is in a bad state a terrible state and not only just the roadway but look at the side of the road overgrown trees shrubs bushes at some point the trees even overhang from one side of the road to the other side all right now the persons out there living in these areas they are struggling they are suffering this community used to be vibrant vibrant and full of life a farming community to be exact now because of this situation all the life in this community has gone practically to zero a lot of the persons that used to live here have since moved away from the community and those who remain have just put themselves in a state of mind where they practically just give up so farming has gone in this community persons have now just resorted to just planting a backyard garden just for family so that they can heat and survive most of these residents in this community have since moved away and those who choose to remain have come to realization or acceptance that this is what they have to endure every day on a daily basis now farming has gone to mill as i said in this community because vendors fail to traverse in these space to come and purchase anything from these farmers because of the damage that this roadway will cause to their motor vehicles and farming is just one of the areas that are affected in this community because transportation is also another issue taxi does not go through this community let me repeat that taxi does not go through this community so persons who does not own a motor vehicle will have to walk miles miles to get to the main road or the major thoroughfare as we look at it in that light just to get a motor vehicle to go to either geisel or highgate taxi does not go through this area and to make matters worse we have children living in this space and these children will have to walk those journey just to get to the major thoroughfare so they can get a motor vehicle to go to school and as i said before just look at the condition dark lonely road as one songwriter would say and the time that we're living in this is risky risky for these children to be walking along this roadway because as you can see viewers from the time i started recording this video i have not passed not even one motor vehicle along this roadway so these children will have to walk this lonely road by themselves prone to any act of violence that if someone choose to bring upon them you understand me this is not safe just look at the condition look at the amount of bush that is overhanging this roadway you understand me and this place is not only just abandoned by those elected officials 
that persons tend to put there as representation for them. They are also neglected by the utility company. Look at the screen, you can see a light pole. That pole has been like that for years and they have reported that falling pole up to this day and nothing has done to it. Look at that utility wire. Some servicing was done to the area and that utility wire left hanging there, you know, hazardous to persons who have to pass, especially the children. But what? They don't care. You understand me? Now, it is interesting because here's an interesting twist. This roadway, fun facts, falls between, as I said, Western St. Mary and Northeast St. Catherine. Persons will tend to say that when you have roads that fall between two constituencies like that, it is a challenge for, for it to get fixed because of the political divide. Now, interestingly, both sides of the fence are controlled by the same party. Yes, man. The same political party. Western St. Mary is controlled by Member of Parliament, Robert Bobby Montague. And Northeast St. Catherine is controlled by Member of Parliament, Kerencia Morrison. It is such a, a shame to see that even though they are representative of the same party, they couldn't come together and fix this stretch of road. Now, this road has been like this for over 30 years. The last time anything was done to this road was over 30 years. It is sad that it is the residents of this community that has to suffer, you know, suffer this great, 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 great disadvantage because persons that are dear will not help. As I said before, an abandoned community. Viewers, if you are living in any one of these communities or know of anyone living in these communities, just comment yes in the comment section below and state that community so we can give it some highlight as well in the comment section. So this is where the video is going to take another interesting twist. That tank that you're looking at there used to be the main source of water in the community. That tank has not received any water in there for over 15 years. Now that leaves the persons living in this community to have to travel whether by foot or by motor vehicle one or two miles to stand pipe in another community just to get drinking water it is crazy when i say it is crazy it is crazy in this 21st century as we are now living in 2024 and have to be going through all of this they say water is life but apparently life does not matter as it relates to the people living in this community their lives does not matter these persons have to rely entirely on rainfall and within the dry season things get rough they will have to resort to purchasing water and that is purchasing water from those who are willing to drive their trucks to go into that community because of the dilapidated state of the roadway and to think that these people have the nerve and the audacity to be going through this community asking and begging and promising people things to get their vote. This video should have dropped on the eve of the local government elections. But <laughs> nonetheless, it is here. Yeah, man. So persons are still going through this community convincing people that, oh, this is the right choice. Put your hex here or put your hex there. And you'll get proper representation when the people of this community have been suffering for more than 30 years. Bad road, no water, security risk to the children living in the area who have to walk along these roadways just to get to school. And not only that, but lack of economic drive within the community. The people are suffering, they are fed up. They are suffering and they are fed up. And they are crying out, crying out for help. These people are crying out for help. And based on what the residents are saying, they don't need much. All they need is just road and water, and that will solve a lot of their problems. Just to enjoy life at the bare minimal as to what other persons in other areas are enjoying. All they need is road and water. I don't think that is too much to ask for in 2024 after getting independence in this country from 1962. It is not too much to ask for. So, powers that be, people, 
are suffering in this community. Reach out, man. Give an helping hand. And appease the burden that these persons have to face out there. Reach out. Give an helping hand. And touch the hearts of these people. As they need to feel as if, yes, they belong as Jamaicans in this country. So they can enjoy what other persons out there are enjoying. Or just to live somewhat of a normal life. By having public transportation passing through their community. Bring back the community to life. Farming high and boosting again. So that they can have an economic drive in their community. Make that money to take care of their families. Yes, reach out. Give an helping hand. Until next time, for those who have not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead. Do so now, as I promise, we have more interesting topics coming up. Peace.